Today we're going to be reviewing a beautiful uh, Honda EU 6500IS inverter generator. This is a uh, thing of beauty, as good as as good as they get. So the uh, generator is uh, 260 pounds, dry, has a uh, 389cc engine with a uh, low oil shut off, automatically shuts off if there's, if there's low oil. Um, has an electric start and does come with an optional remote if you'd like. Has a 4.5 gallon fuel tank. At a quarter of a load, it'll run for 14 hours. Uh, so that's just amazing. Uh, the, the sound level is just amazing as well. 52 to 60 dBA. Most generators are between 75 to 85 dBA. Um, comes with a three year warranty, 6,500 watts peak, and uh, running watts is. Uh, uh, 5,500 running watts. Um, has a, we'll start off with this side right here. Has a uh, nice little door. That you just unscrew like so. And let's see if I can get this thing open. It has to be in a certain position. There we go. So, this is the spark plug uh, right up here. That's the air filter right down there. Okay. Here in the back is the uh, exhaust. Has some nice uh, bars here to protect the plastic. Has a nice um, 10 inch never run flat tires. Let's open this little door here as well. Here is the pull start. In case you need a pull start, the battery's dead. Also has the oil dipstick there on the right. All right, the fuel tank's right up here on top. Has a nice fuel gauge as well. This is the, the handles pull up. Basically push down on these and then the handles go down. They also click in the on position. So the battery is inside of this little compartment. It's a tiny little guy, but uh, does the job. It's the battery right there. This is the lead that you plug into the charger. It does come with the charger. Now what's nice about this generator is that it's an inverter generator, so it produces about the cleanest power, about the cleanest portable power you, you need uh, for sensitive electronics and computers and such. Let me put the handles down so we can see the control panel here. Okay, so I'll start off with uh, has some little LED lights here, gives you the output indicator, uh, an overload alarm, an oil alert. Nice little uh, screen here. It'll tell you the uh, it'll tell you the uh, hours of operation, basically an hour meter. It'll tell you the wattage, how much is uh, how much watts are being used, the engine speed, and also uh, provide diagnostics for um, technicians. It's the engine engine key here and switch. If you want to use a remote, an optional remote, you just switch it to the remote, and then that's the on, and then you. Go to the right to start it. It's the fuel shut off, uh, on and off, the eco throttle off and on. And that basically, if you want it to run at idle when there's low usage, or you want it to, if you want it to run full speed, you can turn it off and it'll always run full speed. Um, we have a 30 amp 120 volt twist and lock, 20 amp uh, 120 volt standard plug in, and a 240 120 volt. 30 amp twist and lock with the digital electronic, I'm sorry, not digital, electronic circuit uh, protectors. Um, now what's nice about this generator is that it has a, a voltage selector. So this generator is uh, capable of outputting, if you, have a, if you have for example an RV, RVs run on 120 volts of power. So you would plug that into this outlet here and that would give you the complete 45.8 amps that this generator is capable of outputting. 
and then you you would basically switch that to the 120 volt and um, that would do that now if you are back feeding a home like we are here you set it to the 12240 and use this twist and lock which will give you um, 240 volts basically so it'll split the 45 amps in two and give you one um, uh, half on one leg and one half on the other so 22.9 amps total uh, on each leg so um, that's pretty much it let's go ahead and give this a start and uh, back feed into the home and see how it how it handles it so we go to the on position and the start it's really quiet you can barely hear it there are the other generators it's amazingly quiet you really have to hear it in person Plug in. Okay, we're plugged into the home here with a 30 amp power uh, generator power inlet box, which is the correct way to do it. Now we'll go inside to the so panel. We have the interlock device installed right here. Make sure that makes sure that the generate uh, the um, main power is not turned on at the same time as the generator panel. So uh, that's the power alert return monitor. Tells you when power comes back on. We'll leave that off because the power's still here. Power's still on. And here we have a uh, utility monitor, uh, um, wattage monitor. Basically, will tell you how many watts are being used from the generator. That way, you make sure you don't load, overload the generator. So here, we're going to mimic a power outage. So we're going to shut the main power off. Shut off all the breakers. Uh, okay, and then we're going to slide this up, turn the generator breaker on, and then turn power back on. You want to go one by one. Watts or so. Let's go hear how the generator sounds. That's the generator with about half a load running through it, and it's still it's really quiet. Alright, thanks for watching.